Well, hello everyone. Welcome. Welcome to Playframe and Elden Ring and Side Quest and what is through that little opening down there almost certainly a big dragon. And a big fight with said scary big dragon. We'll see how it goes. I've changed my loadout a little bit as you can see in preparation for what I anticipate to be a big dragon fight. I'll explain after I grab these things I just saw. Why not? Oh, I'm nervous going in there. So, my loadout is more specifically geared for fighting big dragons that do fire and lightning damage in varying amounts, which is what I... It's been the trend climbing this mountain, so I've still got my bolt and flame talismans for negating or reducing that damage anyway. I've swapped this out for the charge attack talisman because someone in chat or comments, sorry, now I've been doing Twitch long enough that I am actually making that mistake. Someone in comments mentioned that uh, this dragon sword's big L2 attack benefits from this if you're like charging it, which you usually are. So why not? If I'm going to be using this sword, then that's the attack to be using a lot of the time. We'll give it a shot. I've also switched to this armor, which has more fire and lightning defense on it. Generally, less physical defense than the set I had before, but... Should do better on the elemental front, and allow me to equip this, the heaviest, I think, shield in the game, which also has better fire and lightning negation. Almost 80% of it, basically. If I'm blocking, I'm only taking 20% of the fire and lightning damage incoming, and none of the physical. Uh, it is very heavy, though. <laughs> So I'm just able to equip it with this lighter stuff on. We'll see how it goes. If one of those... If I'm correct, and this is a big dragon fight, we will see if it is throwing any fire and lightning around. If one of these is not present, then I'll swap this out for the physical damage negation. Otherwise, I'm feeling more or less ready. We've got Tish on speed dial, and we need to keep an eye out for Egon. Folks in comments have mentioned that there are some fights in this game which have summonable NPCs who are inside the arena, not outside, and I'm suspecting this is one of them. So I think I need to just be looking for summon signs once I'm in there. But, um, without further ado, I guess let's see what we're in for. Real pretty. Just trying to see if I can spot any immediately noticeable summon signs. And... Ah. Wow, hi. Lightning and fire. And big bites. What a big chonky dragon. Oh boy. Yowza. You're scary. Uh, didn't think I could mount up, but it was worth looking. I do need to still be paying attention to you, but now I'm wanting to see if there's a summon sign in here anywhere. Now. Oh. That's what I get for not paying sufficient attention to you. Lesson learned. I mean, that item is a key item, right? Like, it, I'm not able to, as far as I know, equip such things. This summons Drake Warrior Egon from his sign. Okay, from his sign. He's got a sign in there somewhere unless it's around here somewhere but i don't think it is didn't see it before nah i'm really not wanting to engage with the fight itself until i have figured out oh there you are ah 
I should also grab runes first. Or maybe that won't be a concern. Well, there we go. Freed of any worldly possessions to concern ourselves with. And at this point in the game, getting enormous numbers of runes is... so easy. <laughs> I always have a pretty easy-come, easy-go attitude with runes, but especially this late on. Not too worried about it. Summon Drake Warrior Egon. Yes, please. <laughs> I hereby vow you will rue this day. Behold, a true great warrior, and I, Egon, your fears made flesh. Delightful. Ow. That was pretty distracting, Egon, but very good. <laughs> Okay, so good. We know where his summon sign is. We can get him in and now actually start paying attention to and learning the fight a bit. Some folks also mentioned in comments that it can... I don't know how big of a difference it makes, but like whether or not the NPCs you summon in survive the length of the fight also makes some differences. Maybe just differences to their dialogue a bit. I don't know. But, um... That doesn't feel entirely under my control, but I'll do my best. Goodness. Not wasting time, are we? Oh boy. That's right, clear out. Meh. I can block a lot with this shield, it's pretty good. But I guess if that gets behind you, it doesn't matter. <laughs> You're so intimidating. I feel like I'll do a pretty decent job in this fight once I get into it, get my buddy summoned, and start, like, getting my wits about me. <laughs> Block. Yeah, it's pretty good at blocking the stuff. Nah. Thanks, fellow player who died in a similar spot. Understandable. That's so many clicks to have to survive through. Oh boy. Whew. There. Alright, you're in and you've got your monologue to do, so I'm gonna... Focus on survival. And learning. How'd that hit? Whoa, ho, ho, ho. didn't see that coming. Good to have you here, buddy. Please help. Okay, yeah, can't block that, which makes sense. Whew. What a cool dragon design, though. It looks really different. And missing a leg, too? I'd not noticed that before. Yeah, it's like much bigger and... Brutish and like muscly looking and intimidating than a lot of their uh, dragons are. It's really cool. It almost looks like something right out of Monster Hunter <laughs> in a good way. Lock. Okay. All right, you're in. Eh. Come on, man. Hey. I hereby vow We're getting shut down so fast. <laughs> I think actually it's going to benefit me to drop this and go with physical defense. Because I'm taking a lot of just like big physical hits. There's a lot of fire going around. Lightning too, for sure. But my shield can block a lot of stuff really well. If I'm going to take a hit that the shield's not uh, blocking, I feel like this might negate a bit more of that damage. A bit. It's very hard to get in that summon without taking some big hits, though. Hard finding an opening. Glad I don't have to worry about, honestly, not having to worry about the runes anymore at this point. Helps a lot. It's one less thing I gotta worry about starting the fight out. 
Hereby vow, you will rule Big hit. Ah. Oh, right. I need to change the shield so it has uh, no skill on it. In order to use my big... Big sword move. Otherwise, this will not work for me. Yeah. Whew. You're so scary. It's gonna be hard getting big charged attacks off on this guy. Solid of scale you might be, <laughs> Still chatting. But I will riddle with holes your rotten hide. With a hail of harpoon. Decent hits if you could pull it off. With every last drop of my being. Whew. Got lucky that time. Yeah, a good 2,000 or so a pop. If you can pull it off. Oh. Nice. Ugh. Don't know if I'm going to have time. Nope. Ah. Got unlucky. Get ready to block. Whoa. Cool. Teach maybe a little extra help. Wouldn't go amiss. Bale is not playing. Whew. Oof. So much fire going around now. Oh boy. Whoa. You're so scary. Yeah, and you move a lot now. Whoa! Yeesh. Yipes. Yeah. Yeah, Tish. I really brought you into an unfortunate situation, huh? Now! Goodness gracious. What an amazing dragon design. Hey, I rolled. Disagree. Okay, we did a lot better that time. We've seen more of what we're about to deal with. Good, good. I can see this one taking a good chunk of today. We can beat it, though, for sure. Okay. Tisha's good, but especially once that second phase gets going, that's gonna be... Hmm. It's hard to say who'd be better, though. Like, this dragon can do damage all over the place. It's hard to say if... I don't think Latana's gonna have any safe spot to be. And I don't really know if the Mimic Tier is gonna do significantly better. And will also require me losing a lot of my HP at any time, which this dragon will punish so hard. <laughs> hmm. Well, let's keep giving Tish a shot. Even if Tish just accelerates the trip to phase two. That still could be very helpful. I do need to change the Ash War on the shield, though, if I can. I changed shields so little that I kind of forgot. Uh, there we go. Right, not that it really makes much difference. I'm not attacking with this thing. <laughs> but. Sure. Okay. Now I can do my big L2. 
with the shield still up. I wonder if there's any items that I'll end up... I'm not going to start using them yet, but uh, if I'm needing that little extra boost, one of these liver items could be good. We could try getting some rot going, but it's... We could also try going for sleep. Like, that's a thing we've got in much more supply now. That's interesting. I'm not going to this round, but maybe next fight. I might try throwing some sleep pots and see if that actually... I guess with my summons in there, they're going to wake it up again real fast, probably. Hmm. Interesting thought, though. Kind of keep that in the back of my mind as an idea to maybe try. But okay, let's, um... Keep experimenting. Eh. Nope. He's in, though. I hereby vow you will rule this day. Behold, a true great warrior, and I. Whew. Okay. Thanks for the distraction, buddy. Did great. Made flesh. Now. Oof. Lock-on's helpful because it moves around a lot, but then once you're close to it, lock-on is less helpful. Well, let's see if we can at least lure your attentions over here. Whew. So long as that big like, ground stab doesn't hit behind me, I can still block it reasonably well, but, uh... I will riddle with hold your rotten hide with a hail of harpoons! Yeah. With every last drop of my being! Oof. It's the one, two, three. Oof. Got lucky again. Boy, you do so much damage so fast. And you're missing an arm, too. Wow. Not that it matters in phase two. Ah, keep forgetting about that one. Here we go. Sheesh. Ah. We're churning through my health so much faster than yours. Wow, that's amazing, though. Rolled a little too early. Whew. Nah. Blocked the incoming one, but the follow-up. Oh, wow, that roar hurt. Whew. You do so much damage. Very devastating if those hits land. It's nice knowing that, like, there's still plenty of DLC left. We can go and explore and do more things and come back to do this fight later. And it may come to that, but... I do want to keep giving it some tries for a little bit. Just trying out some other things. I wonder if there's something better than this to be having. I guess negating or, like, reducing one of the two kinds of damage that are flying around everywhere is really valuable. Are there any spells that would be any worth, like, worth trying to sneak in? It's... There's so few windows. Like, we can try doing some buffs up front. That's not a terrible idea. The buffs up front really might be the best we can hope for. Yeah, let, let's change the spell load out a little bit to have, like, fire reduction and... Or maybe lightning reduction. I don't know how... I can't remember how long those buffs last, but, uh... We can keep the rock around. There's no way I'll have time for a breath attack. Or that.
let's say... Greatly increased fire damage negation. Do I have a lightning one? Got like a regen, but I think that's going to be way too slow for any of this. Yeah, I don't know if I have a lightning uh, damage reduction. Well, a minor one. It's better than nothing. I would cast at least Golden Vow inside the arena, but there is no time. So I'll just try doing like three buffs outside, go in, summon, get Teach in. Try throwing some rocks, though I don't have the highest of hopes. So like, yeah. Buff one. Buff two. Buff three, and I think Tish is going to be too expensive, so... Glug, glug, glug. Nope. Where are you? There. Locked it, haha. Alright, we gotta fight. Have a rock. That's not a lot of damage. Sword it is. Big sword hits. Yeah. Greedy. No. We had a decent setup that time. Let's try that one more with a similar setup, not even worrying about the uh, rock throwing, because that ain't happening. Too little damage per throw. Okay. Buff one. Buff two. Glug glug. Swords back out. We ride. Hey! You even gave me a second, thank you. Okay. You will rule this day. Behold a true great warrior, and I your fear made flesh. Making it happen. Ah, I thought I was gonna be able to get out of the way of that one. Okay. We're in the fight. We have a spare moment. Let's see what we can do. Yeah. Don't get greedy, though. Solid of scale you might be, foul dragon. But I will riddle with holes your breath. Big sweep. Yeah, with goodness. Tish is getting messed up. With every last drop of my being. Nah. <laughs> hey, nice. I don't know if it's my work more or uh, Egon's that is setting us up for that big hit. But I'm grateful. I guess charged attacks do tend to do that. It's gonna hurt. And probably knock me off my feet. Nope, I'm fine. Don't even care. Whew. Use that shield more where you can. It hits from safety. 
Where are you? Oh, okay. Whew. Ow. Yeah. Makes sense. Keep moving. I don't know whether our uh, big friend is here still or... Nice. Uh, I don't know if that's possible. Yeah, he's here. Great. We might make it happen. We might make it happen. He's had a very good run. Yeah! He gone, you live! I agree! Bail the dread! You shall haunt me no longer! Whew. Well thought, buddy, and well screamed. He's very good at those two things. Whew, boy. Big scary dragon. Well, maybe this will help cheer up our dragon lady friend. At least a little bit. Whew. So, um... You around here anywhere, bud? You're probably still back here. And maybe still dead. He gone? Can I... Nah. Here, let me take a lap real quick and listen for yells. Yeah, I'm not hearing anything, so I think we're gonna go meet him back further down the mountain. Phew! Definitely got our runes back and then some, though. More vigor seems smart. I might even use some rune item. Well, nah. I was considering using some rune items to just go ahead and get that second level as well, but this is fine for now. Oh boy. Here, let me get my spell loadout fixed. Okay, I think, I think that'll do it. Let's then be heading... Easiest way to get to you is, I think, going down here. Alright, let's, let's check on you. He gone. You good, or are you just all the way dead now, but satisfied? Ah, the second thing. I see. Well, good for you. This seems more or less like what you wanted. Egon's great bow, helm, armor, stuff, and bell bearing. Neat. Well, well thought. Thank you for the help. And the shouty moral support. Let's read some descriptions. We got some new stuff. The Heart of Bale. The Biatrial Heart of Bale the Dread. Dotted with horn-like gravel stones and glistening with deep red liquor. Gorge upon this at the Grand Altar of Dragon Communion to absorb Bale's power. The purest form of communion, in the words of its priestess. Yes, we'll have to choose a spell we can't use. Egon's Great Bow, the weapon of Egon the Broken Drake Warrior. A great bow fashioned from two dragon's bones bound with coarse rope, covered in gashes left by claws, imbued with Egon's passion, enhancing the power of Egon's harpoon. Oh. Egon's Drake Hunt, skill of Egon Drake Warrior, ready the bow before unleashing a twisted shot with a great bellow that considerably enhances its power. Cool. Definitely a strength bow. Seems fun. We should try it. Helm of the Broken Drake Warrior Egon, from a set of armor comprised of a miscellany of parts. This tattered protective wear is shaped like a bugle. That makes sense. The poor scavenger of battlefields found honor through a dragon communion. Filthy belongings are attached to this scattered piece of protective wear. No more than a mishmash of tatters and remnants stripped from a corpse found in the aftermath of a battle. He just kind of 
cobbled his whole thing together. Stripped from a corpse found in the aftermath of a battle, this scrap of cloth smells utterly foul. Yeah, he was just a guy who wanted to eat dragons and fight them. And no one had more passion for the job. Gotta respect a peer. Offer to the twin uh, maiden husks to gain access to Egon's harpoon, which I'm curious about. We should, yeah, we should see about that. But there is another dragon type folk who we should probably look in on. Hey. How you holding up? Ah, finally. Our wish is granted. Our dream, long yearned for, has come to pass. My lord was blessed with great insight. He saw in the insatiable hunger and fierce spirit of man the very things that would fell veil our wretched nemesis warrior you soar with the strength of dragons even more true than you know dragon bolt of florisax Ooh. whereas i am fallen leave me be i like you confess to putting her to sleep yeah, no, we should... We should take responsibility for our... Admittedly somewhat reckless actions. I was curious, you see. Is that the truth? Never in all my years... How could you inflict such cruelty? No, that is not for me to judge. Whatever your hand in it, it was I who succumb to the sweetness of slumber. The fault lies with me. I may be fallen, but I need not surrender my honor. That is true. You took that rather well. I do think it is still my fault, though. And not to argue with you. I know it's not in my favor on this point, but, um... I don't think we can blame the drugged for succumbing to the drugs. On second thought, I believe you do owe me something for the transgression. That's what I'm saying. On a mere whim, you've stripped me of my one and only law. Twice. As such, I require another. You. One day, may you become a dragon hole. A lord of your own making. Lead me, and I will follow my good lord. Ah! Well. I am working on that, so... Welcome to the team, new employee. Um. Ooh, ancient dragon florisax. Rad. I would be thrilled to have you fighting alongside me. That sounds great. Dragon Bolt of Florisax, a special incantation of the ancient Dragon Florisax. Calls down red lightning to bolster the caster and nearby allies. While enrobed with red lightning, all forms of damage negation, including physical, are increased. This also increases damage negation while guarding as an additional effect. There was a time when the priestess never knew love and thus never used this incantation herself. That seems very potent. And... Well, we're working on faith, aren't we? We'll get there. Someday. Might take a while. Still, worth building toward. What a cool spell. But also... Ashen remains in which spirits yet dwell. Florisax assumed the spirit form to offer her service to a new lord. Uses her own Dragon Bolt to increase all damage negation, including physical for herself and allies. Oh, nice. So you know how to do that, too. Strikes foes with the Flower Stone Gavel's Dragon Bolt to reduce enemy lightning damage negation. Long ago, Florisax assumed human form to share dragon communion with the world. Now she has acquired a human heart. Are you the... Yeah, you were that... We got in a description so, so long ago. There was a... There was talk of one dragon who even took human form to commune with the knights in Landell. And it was like a very vague way of putting that, but... And I don't remember exactly the uh, 
dragon's name, but I would hazard a guess that this is her. Sounds very much like her. Might not be, but very similar, at the very least. Sweet. Well. Let's see, we got that already. I guess we got our whole big dragon-eating goal to achieve here, don't we? Which utterly unusable spell would we like most? Bale's Tyranny. Channeling Dread Dragon to roar with a heat wave blast. Causing violent eruptions of fire in the area. Could be fun. Channels the form of the dragon in the right arm to smash foes with an explosion, or when exposed talon bone coursing with flame lightning. So it's like a big AoE move. Or a real big single target move. Hmm. It's a tough pick. This seems very big and devastating, though. I'll grab this one. Offer Heart of Bale to make Bale's Flame Lightning thine own. It is done. We have eaten the heart of the biggest formerly living dragon. Don't know if this one still has a heart. It kind of seems like a whole project, but maybe someday. Oh boy. Let's go turn in that, um... Bell bearing. I would love to see what these spear things are. So, like... Yeah. Oof. Playing Monster Hunter and Elden Ring simultaneously in any way. Sure do mess with the muscle memory. Oh, right, we still have this one. It sounds like, apparently, string in the original game of Elden Ring was a really obnoxious item that, like, very handy for crafting lots of things, but to get it, you just basically had to farm demi-humans, or maybe there were other enemies who were good for farming that too, but I think demi-humans demi were best for it. Uh, and it made any items that required string just very obnoxious to have to farm for. So now, that bell bearing allowing you to just buy string is probably a godsend. Didn't really apply to my playstyle, but probably a welcome relief for plenty of Souls players. So where are these things? Here we go. Great arrows that bristle with sharp gravel stone pieces has an anti-dragon effect. The broken drake warrior Egon made these one by one in the midst of his agony so that Bale the Dread himself would know fear. Boy, what a fight. That ended up being. Heck of a thing. Poof. So what's our next step? I think we're about done today, but like what? When we come back tomorrow, what's next step? I think we are done with all this. And now that we can actually see this map here, we it looks like we have kind of revealed the entirety of the southern maybe half of the... It could be that this stretch is a good ways north, but we found the south coast for sure. And we might have found the east coast here too. So it might be that... It could be that we're like halfway done or very not. Hard to tell, but um, it does feel nice having a little bit better of a sense of the map scale and uh, dimensions. A little. We got this island. I don't know how to get to yet, but I have a pretty good 
guess I think. The very, very deep pit with a magical barrier from Mikola blocking us getting in. Fingerville with the big bell horn thing that I don't know how to make use of yet, but we'll keep an eye out for things. I think it might be <laughs> I think it might be time to finally go back here where we were like a week or two and at like a long time ago. I didn't realize that this like southern path down here was going to lead qu to quite so much, but boy it sure did. But now, now I think we're ready to start heading back up here again. And depending on how much is this way, maybe finally heading up toward Shadow Altus that we revealed weeks ago. Imagine. Well, Please look forward to it. I'll see you all tomorrow. Goodbye.